Hi there, my name's Corey, and welcome to Just Empty Every Pocket. I can't stop telling people how awesome my trip to Moab was. The trails were just the right ratio of challenging and scenic. One of the constants here on every single trail in Moab was wind. On my very first day there, while airing up, said wind taught me a valuable lesson that I will never forget. The wind got hold of it and shot my hood back. Fortunately, there wasn't too much damage. There's a little crease in my hood. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to stop this from happening ever again. For most wranglers, this flimsy little hood prop rod is all that we have to hold the hood open. My prop rod was even more useless as I had to trim it to make room for my massive PSC steering reservoir. There are quite a few companies that make hood struts for the JK, including Rugged Ridge, but I'm so sick to death of their shit quality that I decided to go with a different brand, Rival. The kit from Rival Offroad has everything you need to perform this install quickly and with minimal tools. The best part about these struts is just like me, they are made in Germany. The kit leverages factory mounts and holes to attach the various included parts. We start the installation with the lower mounts. All we had to do was remove two bolts and pop off a pair of wire harnesses. The factory bolts seem to be just long enough. The upper mount leverages a slot found on all factory JK hoods, including the 10th anniversary hood. Just slide in the adapter plate and then bolt up the upper mount. Before tightening it all down, apply some red thread lock to these bolts as you don't want them vibrating loose. Now repeat these steps on the driver's side. If you happen to have an underhood compressor mount like I do, be sure to mount the lower hood strut mount underneath the compressor mount. This will ensure that both sides of the hood strut assembly are squared up and level. Next up, prep the struts by compressing and decompressing them five times each. Now they're ready to be popped into place. This is the final step. Now this angle does seem to be just a tick shallower than when I was using one of these, because you can see it doesn't quite go anymore. But at the end of the day, that's pretty minor. I can still get at my oil filter. I can still do any work I need to do under the engine. And worst case scenario, just pop those off, push it back. But the best part is now, this hood isn't going anywhere when I'm airing up. Even in windy conditions, I don't have to worry about it. It is gonna take some getting used to, because yeah, I've had this thing for like 12 years. So yeah, it's definitely gonna take some getting used to having a slightly more modern hood for the first time ever. But it closes just fine and it opens just fine. This is actually pretty cool. Check it out. Oh yeah, that's badass. So the total install time for these hood struts is around 30 minutes. And the best part is it uses all the factory mounts. You don't have to drill any holes. There's no customization required at all, which is a huge plus. The other huge plus is you never ever have to worry about the wind catching your hood and flipping it backwards ever again. So my opinion for the 69 US dollars at these cost, it's an absolute no brainer. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, like it, share it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe. As for me, I'm out of here.